surprised. Don't try to run, don't try to hide. Nicolas, for real, dude. You took all my money. It's, it's funny when people pay. It's funny when you when people pay somebody and they give you a, like they they empty out their wallet just to pay you whatever. You're yeah. taking out my money. Really? Yeah. yeah so, so <laughs> but you've been holding my money for a long time now, <laughs> and now it's time to pay. Yeah, look at this. Oh, but can I borrow money too? <laughs> oh, oh hell yeah. Yeah. What's up, boo podcast? The we best got the, We got the messages on one side. <laughs> <laughs> It's we got the good. Salvadorian on the other side. Get it, those Latinos. Oh, man, Salvador. we got a, a good friend um, from back in the days, and the OG, man, Jose V right here, man. Aquí estamos en vivo, en yes, vivo. Señor, right? Pu tacos and pupusas. This Hell is the yeah, Putaco man. edition. We had right here El Nelson Ned right here, Nelsito, who's been here before. Pupusa Como Nish, tal Pupusa vous? gang, Pupusa squad, como tal vous, tout le monde. I Bonjour, just, les amis. Croissant pupusas right here, bro. I just want to know why Nelson brought a tamal. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> you know what's funny, man? Let's just let's, let's just get out of, let's just get the uh, talk about the big elephant in the room, man. Whenever you um Google um Salvadorians first or Mexican first, the first thing that shows up and look it up, Philip. Is that for real? Why just just put why do Mexican and right away the first thing that shows up is why do Mexicans hate Salvadorians? Right away. That's it. Damn. That's it. If you like if you type why do Mexicans, what shows up first, Philip? Why do Mexicans look Asians? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why Mexicans look Asian? Dude. Yeah, bro. Oh, you look at why do Salvadorians man a lot of rivalry, man. Where did it all start, fool? It, it, you the historian it, here? As the uh, <laughs> from Chirilagua, <laughs> Chirilagua, as the self-appointed historian for the Salvi culture of from country. Linwood, bro, from, from Compton, from Compton. Where you from, Compton? I grew up in Compton. Uh, then we moved to Linwood. So if you guys don't know, man, Jose V, man, this fool just throw down these big old comedy block parties. And uh, with the color red and black all over the house, you would think that they're having a communist party inside it. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're, 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 they're going to bring back the Sandinistas and shit. <laughs> yeah, now that you dude. mentioned it. La guerrilla, bo. <laughs> yes. It was a comedy revolution. That yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Jose Lucian, right? It was a Jose Lucian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was a big block, man. His mother would throw down with uh, pupusas. She would make pupusas for every show. The most she ever made? Was twelve hundred pupusas in one? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chippo took four hundred of them home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of gasol, bro. A lot of so it was a whole week's process to. Damn, all full of masa. Oh, she didn't on. make them the day of. I thought she made them like. No, no. So she made them the day of, but the whole week before was like Prep prepping time. and you know getting the chicharron. That's a lot of masa, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, so and how about the cabbage? What they call it? Curtido. Curtido. How, how much? How much? How many pounds of curtido was it? Oh shoot! It was probably, I want so I want to say uh, two of the tubs. Yeah, two tubs where I think they were like five gallons, so ten gallons. I, I went to this fool's um, party. He had it for like his dad, and he had like a whole like. <laughs> do you remember that shit? Like you know those, those it like, was one utility of those buckets, that <laughs> you <laughs> containers. You know the containers you get that yeah, Home Depot, full, like the, the black and <laughs> fucking yellow ones, full of curtido. Just full of curtido. Yeah. <laughs> you guys tired of that shit? Well, it was a it was a party, oh, so yeah, we yeah. that just for him and the family. I was like, damn, just that, stays in the fridge. Yeah, but for that comedy show, like, I don't know, you would have one comedy show on now or two. Which one? The at the whole solution, the big Robin. Oh, just one show. Yeah, one show. And then dancing afterwards. Yeah, usually we had like a band playing or some some local band or some high school band doing covers or. I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You did it. Yeah, I, I did it with you. Like, dude, this was like in 2010 when we did the show with him. Remember? I think that was probably the last one. The picture? Uh, yeah, yeah, the picture I have. I had a red members only jacket, dude. I think it was. Oh, it's not so, going to come up. If I remember correctly. <laughs> <it was, laughs> come on, like, it's not going to come you, up. Can you pull it up? <laughs> <laughs> we that fast. It was the you night you it. had one last comic standing. Yeah. It hadn't even aired yet. It was like, oh, yeah, I won it. And we, had to, we had to keep our mouth shut. So I remember yeah, we couldn't yeah. say shit, dude. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, secret. that was the the backyards were were pretty epic. Where did you start comedy picture. at? So I started at the Comedy Union. Oh, it was a bringer show with uh, fuck, what was his name? That's some of these The owner, something with a D. No, no, it was some some white kid. So I had did an open mic in North Hollywood. It was my first time, and uh, the kid was there. The white kid was there. He goes, "Oh, how long have you been doing comedy?" And I said, "It was my first time." He goes, oh, you're pretty funny. I have a show on Fridays. <laughs> hey, I have a show on Fridays. Can you bring 10 friends? <laughs> Ready for the big time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he put me on. And then uh, so I would bring friends and he would put me on every Friday, even if I didn't bring friends, right? The, the minimum requirement. And so I started doing shows there. And I didn't even know there was other like Latino rooms. I think the first room I did was Cisco's in Paramount. Damn, that was the restaurant, wow. the Rosewood. Remember the yeah, Rosewood? Yeah, Cisco he had a great room at the, the Rosewood. Man, was you gonna say there used to be a guy that would heckle you with burp? Johnny Horn. Oh, yeah. And he, he had the horn. He heckled that uh, that Latino that was developing that joke for six years. He, he heckled him <laughs> for six years right there. Hey, bro, Latina. Maybe, maybe that's why it took so long to write the joke. That <laughs> the guy could play the horn. But six there was years, a moment dude. in time there. There was a killer room night after dude, week after yeah, week. Yeah, their yeah. food was good. It's still good, probably. But then well, somebody got ran over there, right? Yeah, oh, right, right hey, across the street. Para que at home. Hey, that dude lived inside the truck outside. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, so that you that know, was the first. the rosewood, the rosewood had it had like a it had a it was like a like bar. a hard wall right where the where the show was like a hard like a rock wall. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, a, it used to be like a, <laughs> not an oven but a fireplace something Fool, back there. I did a show there. It was a it was a a, a, a fundraiser for Payless Shoe Store. What? Wait, <laughs> a fundraiser for keep it, To yes, keep it in business. Keep it in business. <laughs> yeah, and um, I remember how long ago this was because I think in the same town they have a Denny's that still has a bar, huh? There's a couple uh, Denny's that yeah. have a bar. That, it was, was a bar in that area. And when in Fletcher. On Madison. Yep. <clears throat> I did the show with another comedian, and um, yeah, we went to go eat at Denny's after. And we were, I remember we were trying to play this game with the thing, and um, I hooked up with the. This young girl after the show, bro, that was too young, bro. She told me she had a baby. Bottle. She told me not to watch Rug Rugrats without her, bro. The movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I said, "You're crazy. I'm never gonna watch that fucking movie." Uh, look at Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like, Rugrats. she was a manager for uh, for fucking, but it was a, a, a tenderoni, bro. <laughs> tenderoni. Like, bro, like. A nice it was one. it was too young, bro. I had to, I had to a hard pass on that. <laughs> but it was not like it was twenty one. But man, it was just a hard pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's nothing there. She like said awesome too many times. <laughs> she said awesome. <laughs> You're rad, dude. Radical, dude. <laughs> too awesome. Yeah, I remember it was a hard gig, bro. I think it was the the gig was for this black dude. They they used to do a lot of shows in that area. Yeah, not, so, and so that was the thing. I didn't even know there was other shows. I was driving up to Hollywood. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know there were shows in Paramount, Downey. Remember the uh, Del Rio Lane? I was just oh, thinking that about Downey. that with that Rick Martinez. Yeah. Sunday night. What a, it was a good show for a Sunday, man. It was packed. You got to bowl. You got to get smoke some bud, some fucking. It was um, packed. Some popcorn from the vending machine. Was that on right? Florence? Yeah. 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 Oh, right there by the Super yeah. 8, kind of? Lisa, yeah. did we go there? Where? The, the Bowling yeah. Alley and Del Rio Lanes. Rick Martinez is in Downey. Yeah, no, it's, it's this is damn. It was deep, hot, bro. Yeah, but there was yeah. another another when bowling alley in the area, though. When I first met you, you were texting me that you were doing comedy at a bowling alley. Am okay, I that's know? right. I, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> I was <laughs> leaving the bowling alley. Yeah, S- yeah, sounds yeah. about right. <laughs> oh shit, bro! Remember that room, bro? The um, Maggie's Pub. Maggie's Did you ever do that? Yeah, that no, wasn't Chino, no. No, no but that's in a... Whittier or Whittier, but your house. That's te- on um, Telegraph. That's uh, Santa Fe Springs. Santa Fe Springs. I don't think I did it that. was an Irish bar, Nelson. Like all Irish, they really had Irish food, but it yeah, was very. Nelson's it was like a cl- <laughs> it was like a club because they had a, pl- a lounge, and it was funny because there was a, a phone in the back of the stage where, where the comedians hang out at, and I would get on the phone and go like a, like a baseball coach. Yeah, man, we have to change this comedian and bring me a <laughs> bring me a right hander. There's a bomb threat. Yeah, what's the bomb threat? Oh, bro, get off! What year was this? 
Oh, man. 2004? 2004. I was in fucking, yeah. like, sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little pupusa. You're a pupusa. I remember uh, you and I, we did a room. We did a, 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 we did a, a show where you brought like 15 people to the show. And and then... Hollywood Improv. And they all went to the... Uh, norms. Norms with you, bro. Uh, I think you brought your family, everybody, Oh, bro. yeah, yeah. I, so... And then it goes... We were back in the, the We were in the, the side going, damn. Haiti, Nick. He, he, has to pay, <laughs> he, has to, he has to buy them norms now for coming to the show. <laughs> Well, the backyard shows were my cousins. Like the, it was mostly family. An extension family. of your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're friends. <laughs> I rolled deep. I rolled deep with the family. No free tickets. You charge them, right? Oh, yeah. What was the dollar? You, you, what was I your... was selling out the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big backyard, <laughs> too. Your parents' were, house, right? It, one one thirty five was the max we fit. How much uh, did you sell them for? Ten bucks a pop. Wow. And my mom would sell pupusas for a dollar. That's cheap now, and my, dude. and my dad would sell the beers for a dollar. And then once people figured out, like, well, I'll just bring my own beer. Bargain. He got mad. He goes, no, dile que no traigan cerveza. <laughs> no outside drink. Yeah. Just whole, beer, no mixed drinks? You know, so he started doing mixed drinks after <laughs> doing tequila shots. Because <laughs> people were bringing in their own beer. Was that something you guys always did? Like, that, that type of hustle? No. That, so that was, that was my friend Juan's idea. To do comedy shows in the backyard, and uh, I figured we try. Let's see what happens. And then the first one, it took about sixty-five people. Alfred Robles was one of the first uh, to do it. Sorry to hear that, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, who was the other? Hey, this is my favorite Alfred Robles impersonation. Ready? This is his mouth. This <laughs> <laughs> was laughing. Do I look like <laughs> Shout out to Alfred Robles, man. That fool took the plunge, bro. And he's not working with Gabriel Iglesias no more. And he's out there trying to do his thing, bro, and take control of his own career. He's just killing a lot of, it. Just a lot of balls to do that, bro. Because you're used to getting paid a, a salary. Now you got to make it on your own. I've tried working away five times from Jose, and I come right the fuck back. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat, dog. <laughs> you get the Rusa's, recipe. Eh? Bro. Yeah. Jose, I was just kidding, bro. Here's my tamal. <laughs> No, it's social media, man, it's, he's killing it right now. Yeah, it's, I think it's the name of the game. I try to tell every comic I run into, get on this. You know, some comedians are fighting it. But I only have one eye, dog. <laughs> <laughs> one good eye. But it's, it's, it's yeah, it's, I mean, I can tell you. I know, like, me, like, I see, like, I see people, like, who's, who, like, <clears throat> who have TV credits, right? And I'm, I'm nothing against anybody that's been on HBO and through those or anything like that, you know. I'm not trying to downplay you on that show, but they thought that they they're not doing more after that. They thought that's all they needed. Like they don't, they're not out there, you know, like trying to put their face <laughs> back on their mind of their fans, yeah, who actually saw them on that show. Like if so, they like, like you, you gotta always be thinking that you only have a ten dollar left in your pocket, bro. To be so, hungry. To be hungry, bro. Well, I, I think the way I, the way I see it is. It's a business, right? And you're the product, and you got to keep marketing the product, right? Yeah. You don't stop marketing yourself. You got to keep pushing it out. Keep keep reminding people, hey, aquí estoy. <laughs> I'm still here, you know. Yeah. yeah. And like so Rizzo has a, more followers th than some people on that show. Like if you were on that show, man, if, if people saw you on TV, people saw you on something that's not Instagram, you should be out there putting a video every day and saying, hey, man, what's up, man? I'm back. But, it, but it's, it's a hustle. It's, yeah, it's, it's every a, day, man, I'm back. You got to think of ways. Like, yeah, like if you're out there, you know. bro, if, like if you're a grown man out there on the social media, you should be teaching us how you dye your hair black, bro. Like, <laughs> like a lot of a lot of comedians want to know, man, how do you keep your hair so black? Hey, I want to know. <laughs> Some shellac, like, homie. Like, like somebody hit me up today and said, Felipe, man, you should, um, what do you say about my beard? Use just for men. Just for men. You should do <laughs> just for men? But three at first I was offended, bro. I thought he thought he, he, I don't know. Like I was, I was, I was. You, you, when, when you get offended, I know it now. When 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 um somebody says something, you think about your your first insecurities, right? Yeah. So I thought you take it the wrong way right away. So you gotta turn off your phone, and then go do what go watch something funny like regular show, and then come back. <laughs> you gotta do and a then, reset. And then read the comment again, and you realize, oh, just for men. Dye my beard. He was there talking about the one where I'm not just the owner; I'm the president. 
What's it called? Propecia? Oh, <laughs> no, uh, the hair for men. I thought it was hair. <laughs> the oh, yeah, I thought yeah, maybe yeah. you should get hair, hair for loss. men. Like maybe Boston he saw Institute? a spot I don't see or something. <laughs> you know? Maybe he it was a bald spot. Maybe, it was a reflection. He, maybe he, somebody threw me from the top of my head or something, you know? <laughs> but then I went back. Oh, just for men. But yeah, man, so I'm going to start a video now, man, every two weeks. I'm going to teach um, guys over 45 how to dye their beard, eh? He said, you're going to be, uh, become a beauty influencer. Beauty yeah, influencer. That's, <laughs> I, yeah, that's it. Hair and makeup. I mean, you, you're going to be <laughs> gordo-licious for the holidays. <laughs> Bro, like, I saw this video today, and they had a guy with a big-ass neck just like mine. And, like, pretty much no chin. And it was... I thought this was going to end with a, with, a, with a comedy video. Like, I thought it was going to end in a punchline. Because they're drawing with a Sharpie. We're going to get rid of this fucking mierda right here. We're going to get rid of this pork. Oh, they do, right they're going to surgery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to make this guy a big, uh, they're going to make him a chin, right? But, um, and then, and then they ended with C part two for the results, right? And everybody says, so what's part two? Where's part two? And then I wrote, it ends with a doctor handing him a scarf. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But see, <laughs> but <laughs> that dude, is... man, like, okay, everybody right here, well, well, except, well, except you two, we have big necks, right? But this guy, even if this guy were to get rid of this fucking fat, the rest of his body is still fat, bro. <laughs> Especially if it's all compact and no yeah. neck. It's got to match. It's got like, to match. match. <laughs> but you, can be, you can't be looking like Quagmire, bro, and, and your stomach looks like Peter Griffin. Eh? <laughs> Has to be symmetrical for sure, dude. You can't be fucking. Look at this guy with the big hey, words. bro. <laughs> yeah. Word of the day, bro. You know? <laughs> looking like a jelly bean. Magoosh. <laughs> so what's up now? So you're going to the Army, Navy, Marines, or Salvation Army? Salvation Army. <laughs> all of the above. Salvation the Salvi Army, Army homie. Yeah, I'm, uh, National Guard. I'm already a cadet right now for Army ROTC, so I'm doing that right now, and oh, I'm going to do the National Guard simultaneous, so they can pay for my school and my dorm and stuff. Damn, dude. Nelson well, lives like several lives in one year. <laughs> yeah. What branch of the military are you bro. going to do? Army. Damn, bro. What are you trying to learn, dog? <laughs> <laughs> blows how to blow shit up and how to not get blown up, how to detonate, how to, like, you know, apagar bombas and stuff. And, Bomb squad shit. Yeah. I, at first, I had big plans because, you know, I speak French and Spanish. I was like, I want to be a linguist. And my recruiter's like, should do this. Fucking Lafayette over here. Eh? He, was, he, was like, he was like, we'll work on that. Fool. And then he's like, all right, here you go. Fucking 12 Bravo combat engineer. I'm like, what the fuck is that? He's like, you're basically building shit and blowing shit up. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Send it. But like once I commission as an officer, I get to branch out into something else. So I get to choose what I want to do. But that's like three, four years from now. What's the National Guard? National Guard is a component of the Army, much like the Reserves, but you stay more within um, the confines of your state. So every state has their own National Guard, including the territories like um, Guam and Puerto Rico. I feel like you just read that off a pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> La Guardia so, Nacional. So, like, there were, like just say there was, like, a civil unrest in Compton. Like, a, uh, like there was a riot yeah, right after not, his comedy show. <laughs> they will send you guys in there, right, to control the Salvadorians. <laughs> to, yeah, to control the Salvadorians. Find out a pupusa. Ask what the, the hell. Somebody take the pupusa money. <laughs> the riots, they sent the National Guard, right, in 92? Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. It was a National Guard who shot those kids, right, in um, Fort Dead in Ohio. Um, oh, the ones at Kent State? Yeah. I don't know. No, they were shot by the ROTC. No. I don't know on that one. No, they were Local shot. police? Yeah, I'll hold on. Yeah, that was a <laughs> Yeah, well, that's 68. <laughs> that's when they... That's mean, the there was a lot of massacres. Like, Mexico was, City had a crazy-ass one. Definitely was one. Ohio oh, the Ohio National Guard. Guard. They came to Compton? No, to Ohio. Oh, <laughs> shit. I was like, what the... Sorry. Every state has their before. National Guard. <laughs> the California National Guard will go to Oh, 70? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Have, you seen, have you ever been to your, in your neighborhood, the old ones, and you see up there in the, on, by the light, there's a horn? Oh, yeah. That, that was like the old school oh, horn. Yeah, that would be like... Going, and then the food will show up. <laughs> the Salvadorians or the National <laughs> Guard? <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> National Guard shit, will show up and tell you to turn the lights off in your house because they were... They were expecting like a a bombing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was like Paul Revere right there, dude. But with technology, dude. Oh, yeah, señora, no puede pagar las luces. So National Guard is like a better, but they don't, you, you, they, won't, they won't send you to Iraq or. 
No, yeah, yeah they Israel. Yeah, you they can get deployed out of there. It's an the international guard, then, bro. Absolutely. Oh, that oh, sucks. Geez. You thought you were gonna just chill and hot <laughs> 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 Next month show, you're gonna man. be in Israel, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bro. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> this said, Take me to Tijuana, bro. He's like a gypsy. Like he just, like really. When I met him, like he was telling me a story, like. This guy's not real. Like, what the heck? How old are you? <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, like, sometimes I, that does happen. Like, I tell people, like, you know, because, like, I found a little bit of success in, like, a lot of little things that I've done. But I'm still a regular ass fool. And I work at a bar and shit. But I start, especially when I start talking to girls, like, I've done this, I've done this, I lived here, I speak this. They're like, yeah, okay. I'm from I'm friends with Felipe. And then he turns around and speaks Felipe. French to somebody. I'm like, oh, yeah. he does. <laughs> you know how I felt? I felt like the first time um, this would told me that he, like, he knew Felipe's parts. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. dude. <laughs> he, he used to do shows at my house, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, That's out of here, bro. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? <laughs> Tinder. T- Tinder. 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 <laughs> I swiped <laughs> right. Or is it left? No. Um, is it when, um, Salve Tinder, bro. Like, when I was in high school, fool, and like, I graduated 2010, 2011, 2011. Um, this one was already famous in the Salvadorian community. So I was already a big fan of this one, but he looked so freaking different. He looked, he looked like me. What was the, <laughs> the one YouTube clip that I put out? Este va puto lo va the oh, the, the, the Cero Tres one yeah. is on YouTube. That was the yeah. only probably clip that I had put out. But every year, somebody would find it and it would get a bunch of views. And so that was the one clip that floated around forever. And so that's the one. when I was in France and I started doing my thing over there with my little videos, my shitty little iPhone 4, que ni me cabían los cachetes en la puta cámara, loco. Um, a lot of Salvadorian talent pages would share my stuff next to his stuff. So, and then um, I'm like, this fool looks familiar because I hadn't seen his stuff in forever. And then uh, this one reached out to me or I don't know if I crawled into your DMs. One of the two. One of the two. I don't remember. And but. Thirsty fool, huh? yeah. <laughs> sexy ass. Tengo sed, homie. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we we start. I told him I was coming back to to LA, and we collabed off the rip, and we had. Well, I, I told him if you're coming to LA, hit me up. We'll do something. And uh, yeah, the first time we met, uh, we were on a music video with Cricket Stilo. That's yeah, right. I remember that. And we just we just hit it off. We were just like we we knew each other, right? And so from there, we just, yeah, I, I went back to France after like I left. I left my my girlfriend at the time was still over there. And this was like, look, man, I'm not to get into your business or anything, but like, if that shit doesn't pan out, homie, I could, I could kind of like turn you into a comedian. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that. And he was like, all right, world, here's just fucking Nelson. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, it just, that's the way things manifested. Open mics kind of gave him a few pointers. And uh, it was like very little open mics, too. It was just like a couple. And then he was like, all right, fuck it. Show after show after show after show after show. But I already started doing the like the comedy pupuses and beer yeah. post the backyard. So you did a couple of shows, right? You went to San Francisco, and then you went to yeah. um, East Coast too, right? Yeah, so San Francisco, Las Vegas, uh, to New York. We, we went to go shoot a movie. Salvador, Salvador too, right? Well, yeah, we shot Salvador, Salvador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salvador, Salvador too. It premieres this month in El Salvador. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how did it start popping for you? Like TikTok during the pandemic, or oh, for sure, for sure. That uh, during the pandemic, I started creating content because we we had always been creating content. Like ten years, yeah. I saw yeah. you guys computer thirteen years ago, video. yeah. Oh, computer love. You pull we computer we used to work at an after school program in like Watts, and yeah. uh, it was an after school comedy program where uh, we used to teach kids how to do stand up, yeah, improv, improv, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in in Watts, bro, at the right next to the Magic Johnson Park. And then I remember uh, when all the kids would leave, we had the whole school to ourselves. So we would do, do like sketches Skits. there, like oh, dude, yeah, we have the whole place to ourselves, and. That's cool. I mean, nothing, football. nothing popped, but nothing. <laughs> I remember going to sleep, editing the video, going to sleep like, oh, imagine I, the one. I wake up with, I wake up with millions of views, bro. <laughs> that was me, dude. Santa's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. But were, but were, there, were there smartphones already then? No. No, we were, we're shooting on fucking little cannons, bro. DV. This was in 2011, bro. Yeah. <laughs> on a desktop. Hey. Uh, but I think <laughs> that we had the editing skills then to kind of do it and so when TikTok came around uh it was an easy transition because i knew how to edit videos and i just started throwing stuff out there and things were hitting and i was like okay well let me figure this out and then once i saw what like how it worked i'm like you know i wonder if like i can reach a salvadorian audience and then I did that first video, which is... Because uh, nobody had done it before you. Nah, dog. You got to cross over, dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, when TikTok was... White dollars, bro. bro. <laughs> Somebody told us that. The, there was I no, mean, like, bro. pupusa... Uh, you just keep like doing the pupusa videos. room, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was no foodie fat, content. Bro. Like, now it's a whole industry, right? Foodie and TikTok. But there's no Salvadorian foodie. You have... Uh, that I know it, you have her first. 
Yeah, no, so that's what I'm saying. Like You and some girl, I think. But I don't know. Maybe it's just you. Sabor the, de la Selva. The first uh, food video I did, I wanted to do the Salvadoran food, <laughs> but to have that. Because uh, all the foodies were like tweeting like, oh, this is the greatest food ever. And so nobody's doing that for Salvadoran food. So I'm going to do it myself. And he does a changarrito. And that's somebody right now. Because it is in dog. <laughs> <laughs> But like I felt like oh nobody's doing this I'm like so I just started highlighting people said yeah it's like mm. left and right and then those were blowing up. You think there's a there's um places where you you wouldn't say their names of course and I wouldn't either but would you say man these were the worst fucking pupus I've, I've ever had in my life. Oh, yeah. Pretty bad stuff. Yeah. Pretty bad. I don't know why why Asians are trying to make these. <laughs> but no, but I, to, why to, this to, French lady <laughs> strawberries no, when I was in the strawberry East. pupus that's what I'm like. <laughs> A berry I, haven't, I, haven't tried. I, I haven't tried this. I know they exist, though. Whoa! Sure, don't get me started on those, bro, please. Oh, my God. So I kind of want to try. Well, I kinda. went to a place where they actually were doing shit like that, dog. They, they have... They, they pumpkin, bro. Uh, mean do, fusion. Do you guys... Mad. Are you guys very purist like that about that? Because I remember my uh, there used to be a pupusa spot right by East Lake College, and they had pipi uh pipi no pipi <laughs> pipi pupusas. That was for you, eh? Pizza pup- pizza pupusas inside oh. it was pepperoni and cheese. Oh. I liked it, bro. Oh. And my ex was Salvador, and she was like, Smart "Fuck that shit, there, dude." Bro. It's a calzon. It was a calzon. Calzon, yeah, a calzon. calzon. Un calzon. Also, man, when I was when we were over there in the East Coast, and it was like we, we never seen it in LA, Washington DC. Yeah. The Seven Eleven had pupusas right there by the hot dogs. What? So in the East Coast, we we're talking about bad pupusas in the east coast they have deli style uh pupuserias and what do you think and so that's where i tried like some <laughs> some of the nastiest pupusas. Yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's but because they weren't making them fresh no they, they're not even no love eh? you go to like vallartas and like they're like, perfect yeah, 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 pupusas are terrible. always good it when the lady who's making them has a black ass elbow bro because <laughs> <laughs> doesn't goya have frozen pupusas yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And those some, good yeah, yeah. no they're, they're not good. Hey, you play hockey you with those real, bro uh Good frozen pupusa. What is the next show? Pella brand. La Pella brand. Food. Yeah. La who? La Pella La brand. brand. La Pella. <laughs> no, Perla. <laughs> oh, La Pella. The Perla. Perla. Okay. <laughs> Have you had those? There's also some out there, and I think Marcela Arguello, she made a joke about it, but on a video, it was vegan kind, bro, <laughs> and they come in a little box, and they're yeah. gross. They're made out of black beans. Yeah, no, yeah, I think Costco has some. No cheese, though. Gotta have cheese, right? You, yeah, you have, have to, cheese. bro. It's all about the cheese, I, I've mix, had right? some pretty solid, like just bean pupusas. Unpopular opinion, maybe, but. Yeah. It's what, what, what about uh, Walmart uh, Walmart parking lot uh, pupusas? Are they good? Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I haven't had. Well, you haven't? Had I've, had, I've, had, I've had some. Had any tamales. parking lot pupusas, bro, are pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, the one in uh, like the Santa Fe Springs. Yeah. Santa Fe, I, haven't, I, haven't. I bought some. It was kind of pricey, you know. Not gonna lie. They're was, making them fresh. They're making them fresh. Like, yeah. There's a, a bag of food for people outside. It's pupusas. Pupusa. <laughs> pupusa. Yeah. yeah. With no cheese, just no meat. cheese, just masa. Masa. Man, yeah, because um, there's a like I, I've had like of course you know everybody I've had tamales that were made by Mexicans that were really bad. Like there's a place over. There, I'm not saying they're bad, but they're um okay, they're good. I'm <laughs> uh, uh, right there on uh, on on um, by Belmont High, I think. Right there on um, you, you're talking- Temple Temple and Temple Street by the by the tennis courts, right there. Temple and and uh, Echo Park. I don't know, maybe it's not Echo Park. Yes. Huh? It is. Huh? Yeah, you're right. I'm- Confirmed. Temple and Glendale. Temple and Glendale. Yeah, right there. Temple and Glendale. <clears throat> right there. Um, they they have a, a, a Echo Alberto's tamales. And they have your traditional tamales, but they also have like tamales made of strawberry, tamales made of chocolate. Oh, those are tamales? Tama- yeah. They have those times too, but like, it's right there, right, Philip, still there? Yeah, on Temple. On Temple, that place, they sell tamales for everybody, bro. Like, if you have a hustle selling tamales, you can <laughs> buy them right there, man. And they're always the same size. But yeah, bro, they have flavored ones. And I had a strawberry tamal. It wasn't the business. You ever been to the tamal festival? Bro, I went to a tamal festival, bro. That was insane. Really? In Indio, California. That's the, yeah, India. that's the one. And um, my movie was premiering there. I'm not like that no more. And it was funny, bro. You know, that they have like <coughs> police cars there and you could get in them. They had a border patrol truck. <laughs> nice. And, all the, no, and all the kids were going inside it. <laughs> you get in, you can't get out. And they were locking it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But um, you've been to Salvadoran festivals since you've been doing this foodie thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we, so that's been kind of the cool part about the TikTok <clears throat> stuff blowing up is 
I've been able to work with some of these big festivals. Like Elias Salvadoreño was probably one of the biggest. Um, that was like thirty five thousand people. God damn! Hijo yeah. gran puta. They closed down Pico no, Union. What was this, bro? I was not uh, even invited. Whoa! August. What was it, August? 5th? Is that right there yeah. on Sixth and like uh like right there by MacArthur Park by Loyola no, High no. School? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fucking huge. Nice. Yeah, it was huge. That was probably was one. Was that like a Papusa festival? Um, Bigger they, they than had that. Food so and everything, but they yeah, had, they had musical yeah, acts all yeah, day. All, like, the it was a two-day event. Musical acts, yeah. And so this year we were able to do our comedy purposes and beer there. And so we had our own beer garden and it was cool. We, we got to go on stage with uh, La Tenchis, who is like our like She's OG a Salvadorian comedian. She's kind of like our Don Cheto. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like She's a been around for years. Salvadorian woman. It's a dude. He, he's been yeah, around it's, for it's years. Don Cheto. Like, like, <laughs> la Cheta, yeah, la, la Cheta, yeah, la, yeah, la Tenchi, she's la funny. Ten, she's, she's funny, funny like, like yeah. she like popu, like, like like the fuck, like that chick. Mm-hmm. What's her name? La what's her name? Chupitos, la, la, la Chupitos. Andale, ah, andale. Yeah, yeah. So it's a character yeah, or it's a stand? It's, it's a, a guy playing a girl. She's all fast. Yeah. Oh one-liners. shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. fast. Uh, these fucking comedians are good. Been doing it forever, so oh. they know. Yeah, yeah but it's funny because like she sounds super like a super Salvadorian. And like this fool doesn't give it up. Like we're in the back, like in the green room, like, eating <laughs> with this fool, and he's like, in character. I was like, damn, this fool. Oh, it was fun. so we we're, were trying to pitch him like an idea, like, hey, can we do this bit on stage? Because I'm find a comedian, Philip. Yeah, and uh, and she was still in character. Yeah, what's the name of the comedian? La, uh, La Tenchis. How do you spell Tenchis. it? L A space T E N C I S. French. La Tenchis. When did your parents come to America from El Salvador? Uh, that was. That's, a, that's the immigration question. <laughs> we'll 70, 79. 79? Well, yeah, yeah. Right before it hit the war. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The Civil War. It was just kind of starting to. They fled like like a refugees yeah, and they were, yeah. they were they were given a, a choice to live somewhere or what? No, I don't think they got uh, refugees. I think that, that either came later, but they came, They left. They Yeah, my mom left my sister with my grandma. Wow. All of my aunts left their. They all had kids. And so my, they, have, they have stories about battles and shit? Yeah, yeah. Your yeah, dad, yeah. what did he see? Some crazy. See, Who's so there, uh, when he there's a video that I did with him. He was telling me, and I didn't even know it, uh, <clears> but <throat> he left. He was in school. Uh, they were killing people. There was rivers of blood. They were killing the students, the, the government, or the the rebels. I think both. both. I think they were, yeah, you didn't even know what's going on. Yeah, now. yeah. It was it was just killings uh, going on, and yeah, they basically fled. And it was like a genocide, right? Almost, where did you go? Yeah, there was a. There was a there was there were just forces trying to take over. And then the new everybody was liberal, the right? Yeah, anybody, any of the the, the elite government. and the students, all anything that ties in with that side of the government. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was a, but it was a civil war. Yeah, that's what like, it was caused so by. Pretty much, like, if you had like soft hands, they were killing you, huh? Oh, I'm fucking God. <laughs> I think, well, they were killing That's families, too. They had any, like, they were farming shit that yeah, they didn't want them to farm. Exactly. All types of fucked up ass yeah, shit. Was that was like 81. That's when Romero was down there. They killed his ass. 79, 80. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of wow. music was banned. A lot of TV shows. A lot of, a lot of shit. So that, that, became, that, was, it was being, that, that was when it was cons- very con- hardcore conservative, right? Or was yeah. it um, <clears throat> socialist? But, but so... Uh, that's where we get a lot of uh, Salvadorians, like in Australia, because they had refugee status in Australia, Canada. Canada has a lot of yeah. that. When I was the Italy. Russell Peters show, there was a woman there, two of them. They were some from El Salvador, and it's they asked. They, were, they both said that their parents had a choice to live in di- three different places, and they chose Canada. Yeah, so that's why you see a large population of Salvadorians in Canada, Australia, which Montreal, is Montreal, right? When your yeah, family migrated they, over here, did you guys come? Did they come by plane or was it bus and no, or train or no, like they, they walked? Over. Up. Yeah, they yeah they crossed. They over. walked the whole thing through Mexico all the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. My the story they tell it's crazy. Like, you know, they were sleeping in ditches. Like, yeah, it's some people didn't make it. How long did it take them to get here? Oh, I don't know. They don't say yeah, months. Don't yeah, yeah, but it was it was a mission. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. And, it, and then like. Man, the 79 Mexico was not even in, in it, it was they were broke too yeah, Miguel time. de la Madrid time right yeah 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 no it's it's crazy and you know I think there's a lot of trauma for Salvadorians you know going through that and then, then you, your, your dad there was a big earthquake at the same time right in El yeah, Salvador yeah, when yeah, your dad yeah. left yeah so that, that made a lot of people homeless too and it made people flee it too it was devastating right? yeah yeah because they had the Salvadoran earthquake and Guatemala had an earthquake in 80, 79 too huh yeah a lot of a lot of stuff going on and like even my dad says like you know he was in school and he had to leave school and he had to leave his mom behind who was sick and 
Like that stuff is still. Adios, mijo. But it's still like you know, not haunting, but it's still you know. He hasn't dealt with it. Yeah, he hasn't yeah, dealt bro, with you, it. Yeah, you said it's a source for a lot of trust trauma. Trust me, bro. Dude. Like it's hard, bro. You get that survivor's guilt, bro. Yeah. You feel bad because you made it. Yeah, you left everybody behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Why? One of my jokes, I said, well, why people are lucky, man? Why people have don't, don't even have survivor's guilt? Like they could make it, and their mom could be homeless, and they're all riding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to my grandma, right? She she stayed with my cousins. <laughs> And my my sister and she brought them to to the U.S. later on. Later on, and so my Tough grandpa life. stayed back, and so my grandma made it through with the kids, and then my grandpa's like, "Oh, don't don't come back. There's nothing here for you." Be nice. And he it, was mad, huh? Well, no. It's so she, he got she, a new lady. She <laughs> no. She, he never family. remarried, but she thought he was leaving her. Like you know, adios forever. Adios, yeah. But really, he never remarried. He never so got it was miscommunication, kind of. Yeah, and she felt like, oh, he, you know, he didn't want me anymore. But it was really him saying, "You made it. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, you don't have to come back. Like, don't worry about me. Just handle the family." And so, when she told me that, I was like, "Damn!" Like, it hit me hard because I was like, this whole time she thought, you know, he was breaking up with her. But it was really like, no, you, you made it. Just take care of the kids, take care of the family, and I'll stay here. And he did. He stayed back. She remarried, but what kind of skills you, you, your dad showed up over here? What kind of job did he get as soon as he got to America? Oh, he's been working in fabrics, uh, fabricas. Yeah, yeah, no, no, fabricas. Oh, yeah. So he he works for a company that makes beds. Yeah, because your dad was selling uh, mattresses, right? Yeah, <laughs> on the DL. Because he would he refurb- is the king. He yeah. would refurbish them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so because I was talking to him about like you're killing me, right. Larry. Seriously, baby, <laughs> I've hooked up some people with mattresses. Yeah, because we were, but then I found <laughs> out I, I got a better price because I was going to tell you that I used to spray this place off of Pico. Yeah, and then the guy was refurbishing mattresses, but this fool wasn't cleaning them, so he was refurbishing bed bug mattresses, oh, no. and then got the oh, whole no. building infected. Viene con mascotas. A Pico oh. and uh. Right there, motherfucker. <laughs> it's fucked up. But your dad was doing it the right way. But yeah, he was yeah, doing yeah, yeah. piece by piece of quality mattress. It wasn't yeah, just you know. a, any bullshit mattress with a piss stain or something. Dude, I never thought <laughs> about this, but the, my, all my neighbors fled a, 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 a war in a war country, bro. Another thing about it, like I, I was apartment one, right? And we fled. My dad fled Mexico because of economical problems, right? In the seventies, right, right. and. Um, my neighbors over there, which we had in a, a young hung, they were they were from Vietnam, bro. Like they were Vietnamese refugees. Wow. And then there was a lady there who was just a single mom with a with a dog, and then a, a, a mix a mixed cup a, a a black couple with a white white lady, and then the other neighbor was they're from El Salvador, and they left in seventy nine too. And um, the dad, bro, he was. Um, he was a, a guy that knew how to sew. Like he, he was a good ass seamstress. Mm-hmm. Like that fool could look at that those those buttons, and he could check them out in three seconds and replace them real fast, bro. Like real fast. And he was he was like, he was. A, I don't know if you ever went to go buy a suit in downtown. Oh yeah. And you get all these little. There's a lot of dudes, bro. Cholos, ex cholos, and all these all they know they know how to cut and sew suits. And that was that food did the whole family, bro. Taylors? Taylors, bro. Damn, dude. Alcoholic too, bro. <laughs> Pero se costillero. My dad suffered with alcoholism. Alcoholic, bro. For a long time. Like yeah, yeah. killing the pain or like what? I think so. We showing up to church with a big black guy, bro. With Alcohol- the guy who fought the he fought the night before. An alcoholic get <laughs> an asshole, huh? <laughs> Fuck. It, it, it was yeah, he battled with alcoholism for, for many years. He's he's been sober for a long time now, but <laughs> Yeah, it was, and I think it was that it was you know dealing with the trauma and all that stuff and depression, but leaving family. So that one of the raging? Uh, was he happy drunk or a, or a, tr- a violent drunk? Uh, never really violent. He just kind of kept himself. But so it's funny because on the weekends we would do all kind of stuff, you know. But he would drink at night. During the week he was hammered, like from work to the bar. Fuck. Yeah. What well, bar? What bars would it be in Compton or but are you like in like downtown? No, by his, by his job. Like yeah, yeah. He just yeah. Would they lay on a mattress and drink or what? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go back to the mattress factory. Just fuck up a bunch of mattresses. <laughs> yeah. No. No wonder he refurbished them. He fucked them up. 
When, when did your parents show up to us from America? <clears throat> um, my parents, they weren't really together together like that. Like, my dad, he had, he had already had, like, he was married to the Guatemalan lady, and my mom's kind of came along. Did that, so your dad Guatemalan? Nah, no, my dad's Salvadorian. My biological dad When did he came here? Um, fuck, I wouldn't know. He, he was in Mexico for, like, 15 years, and then he came over here. Oh, I don't know what wow. year, to be honest. Tijuana or like? Uh, no, he was in El Defe. So oh, wow. my dad's side of the family, they, they all lived in Mexico for like 15, 20 years after because the, they refugees because of the war. They stayed there because they spoke the language and it was a stronger economy. And they, my grandfather worked for Pemex and Bimbo, uh, the panaderia. Damn. So like this was, they were pretty set up there. Eventually they came over here, but like they sound, they sound, they sound Mexican. Like my grandma got deported. She got sent to Mexico. <laughs> 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 we have a house there and everything. Oh, Where shit. did you grow up again? I grew up in South Central, Compton, in the jungles. The jungle, bro. Damn, I used to spray dude. in the jungle. Why do they call it the jungle? Because all the palm trees? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Say, I was going to say some fucked up shit. Dilo, <laughs> man. <laughs> Not to get canceled. La the jungle is the blood neighborhood yeah. or a crib neighborhood? Yeah, it's a blood neighborhood, for sure. Well, that's, the, that's, the, that's the neighborhood they show it in. Um, training day, right yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those bloods mm-hmm. don't wear red. They wear orange. What is, is is that like Alameda right. and like uh, Imperial? I see no, a lot of red. No, 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 no. Red? The, yeah. ju- the jungle yeah, my bad. is like from this side um, going towards Crenshaw Corvus Mall. City, Mall. Uh, Crenshaw Mall. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow. Right around the corner from that shit. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. No, but that, that's where I grew up. But yeah, my, my, my parents are both Salvadorian. But I was raised by my grandparents. So you grew up, like, if you look up in the sky, there was a freeway on top of you, right? Yeah, because I grew up right there. I grew up right there, also in South Central. So there's a freeway right on top of your neighborhood, right? That, 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 that people, right? The freeway crosses your neighborhood. 105, right? 91, no, 110. No, 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 no. Um, that's when I when I when I live closer towards Compton, yeah, but not in the jungles, not in South Central either. In South Central, I grew up here on King and Western, by close to like Crenshaw Mall, Crenshaw High. Yeah, that's a bad oh, neighborhood. Wow. That's a bad neighborhood, man. Cause I don't know. There's no way to get. There's no way to get into the freeway from that neighborhood. You gotta go far, you gotta bro. Go it's about three miles that way. You gotta yeah. go far, to right? To get to the, the highway, like you gotta go, you gotta cast a ninety or something, right? You got, uh, ninety-one. Those are the ones to me. The ten, right? one ten, and uh, the fucking ten. But you have to go yeah. like, straight down. Yeah, it's about to, like, three or four miles. Damn, so you're basically going to like, going to, like downtown. Yeah. Supermarkets yeah. were far too back Supermarket, there. Yeah, supermarkets far. Everything was fucking far. They make it hard on the neighborhood, huh? Yeah. Like the ho- fucking hospital's far, huh? Oh, fuck yeah. But I remember I was watching this video, man, and then there was this black dude. He was like saying, <laughs> man, look over there, man. We in South Central, man. That store right there, owned by Salvadorians. You see that store over there, owned by motherfucking Mexicans. This one right here, owned 50 years, Koreans. Over here, Koreans. Over here, Koreans. Over here, the, Rus- the new Russian motherfucker from Glendale. Right, Armonians, right? Armonians, whatever, <laughs> right? Armonians. But you complain about uh, none of this black owned. But um, I saw this other video that that explained w- why is that so? Why in Boyle Heights all the Kore- all the Koreans own the liquor stores, and why in South Central all the Kore- all the liquor stores are owned by Greek motherfuckers, you know, or whatever? But it's because um, the the these Koreans who had the cash. They were not getting loans to open up liquor stores in the white neighborhoods because mm. they, they, didn't, they didn't want a, a Korean guy to sell in their hood. They want to keep it all white, you know, all white businesses. Oh, so they were controlling. They could control it. So they were they were okay to get loans inside the hood, you know, because you can you know it's not, it's not affecting their neighborhood. So that's why you see like, and they were giving better loans. Than black people that were get asking for loans to open up businesses. Damn. So that's why you see, like, you know, it's just a matter of who takes advantage of the situation better. Right, right. Koreans right. have the cash. They're not getting loans to open up in what? In, in fucking Granada Hills in the 70s, you yeah. know? Maybe now they could, but back then they couldn't. But um, they say maybe Pacoima's all right, you know? Or South Central's okay. So it's just. Uh, I guess black people were not getting loans, eh? right, Rodrigo? They're being discriminated like it's crazy. All, it's all designed like that. Yeah. It was all and designed like also that, right? Too, you can't get mad at Asians no more, huh? But uh, some of the Koreans that I met that are in downtown, they said they couldn't buy anywhere else, so they bought in downtown when downtown was all messed up. Yeah, they and they had the available. balls to do, make those type of businesses. Wow, that's crazy. Fact checker here. Yeah. 
Right Go- there in Frogtown was a lot of like seven families Gondina? living in one house. Mexico mm-hmm. pulled their money just to bail somebody out, though. That's right. I told you that one story about Hussein, <laughs> no, sí, where yeah. Mexican people get try to get together, do no me quiero meter en líos, compadre. <laughs> but Asian people, they do like that, and then they're ready to go, and they you know flourish. Yeah. Yeah, man, and like, and it's tough. I'm, my my dad, you know, like he's, he's one of those dudes that just racist, you know, like, no, pues mira, they save money because they eat rice all day, and <laughs> and like, dude, arroz y frijoles, and they go, and I was thinking, I was thinking, so we could save money too if we ate just beans and rice and tortillas. But nah, man, everybody here wants pan dulce. <laughs> Pizza, yeah. People here want Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People want to eat Pepsi for every dinner in this yeah. house. No shasta, bro. Just yeah, yeah, man. Oh, wow. They want to oh, wow. eat fucking, they want to eat fucking big cakes from Phoenix <laughs> Bakery. Hey, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, growing up in the Boyle Heights, did your mom buy a cake from Phoenix Bakery? That was a spot where uh, we always go to right there in Chinatown, yeah. It's been there forever. How about dude. in uh, okay, Salvador? How about in uh, where you grew up, bro? What South Central, 114th and Vermont. What's the name El of Turco, it? El Pavo. No, I forgot. So, ¿cómo se llama? Pan Americano or some shit like that. But it's on 114th and Vermont. That's where we would go to get our shit. Wow. That's a badass shirt, bro. The LA backwards. You made that or you bought it somewhere? No, no. This is Salvi brand. It's a, he makes a Salvi. <laughs> Salvi. He yeah, made this is Salvi brand, too. That food, that was really good. Hey, we're I thought that was your brand, bro. It should be our brand. It should be our brand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have so many viral videos in this shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he, he hooks us up. And nah, he's cool. They got really cool stuff. Are those the Ericos or the Isles of Dodger Stadium? No, this is two. two, two the years two, of migration? Three, these, are, two, three, two, three. these are yeah. zip codes. There was yeah. more, but I had to get it tailored because me llevaba hasta acá. It's like, yeah, the, the Ericos of L.A. When it, when, awesome. it's, when it's um, Salvadorian night at Dodger Stadium, <clears throat> the people show up with better merch than the merch they're selling at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Because they don't. They, so they've only done it two years in a row. Uh, I went year. to the first one by accident. You were saying, <laughs> yeah. So the first year <laughs> they gave out a T-shirt, and that was it. And uh, Salvi Brand made these for the first year, and uh, so people showed up in this, and so you see a whole bunch of people wearing the jersey. And so the second year, the Dodgers were like, well, we're gonna make a jersey. Oh wow, just like, like just like Los Doyers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it had yeah. the I think it has five three in the front. It has the yeah. school in the back, and with the ticket they were giving those out. So like That's the footage, smart. like it's just a sea of people. But it was funny because like they only had like large and extra large. If you were like, yeah. if, if you were a fat fuck, yeah, at least a pito. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you guys went to um, the East Coast, right, to do a show? No, we we did, we filmed the. Uh, we were part of a movie, and you were. But I saw you were at a restaurant in the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, New Jersey. El Rinconcito. Uh, I think it was Long Island. How was that restaurant? But it looked it, good. It was for for Long Island. I was very impressed. It was. It's probably one of the best spots that I've had Salvadoran food. Those guys are legit. Uh, it's uh, two brothers running the restaurant. Their dad opened it up. I forgot when, but they've been running that place for. What's the name of it? El Rinconcito. El Rinconcito. It's a legit, legit spot for Salvadoran food. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recommend it. Highly recommend it if you're. They have frozen pupusas too, if I'm not mistaken. No, so they don't have. Oh yeah, yeah, no, they do. They do. They started they their own. They sell brand. them. Ship them out. They started their own brand of frozen pupusas, but they ship it like locally. And uh, yeah, yeah, they have. I you guys, I was trying to make pupusas in El Salvador and, and like tamales too for Christmas because it's like for my host family over there. And like, um, there was no Latino shops because over there there's really. Where, where in, in France? In France, yeah. Oh. So I was telling my mom, like, how do, how do I do this? Me está dando la receta, güey. And I go to the Arab store because they eat similar to us, like with spices and shit like that. Oh, yo, shit. Yo pensé que había comprado una maseca, güey, but I bought a pound of sugar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, dude. Say, I bought a sack of sugar. <laughs> It was in fucking Arabic, you know what I'm saying? Esta masa no sirve. Amapola. Compra más. Do you guys went to El Salvador together or solo? Yeah, yeah no, together. Salvador. So, yeah, yeah. We, was so, it for the movie as well? Yeah, yeah. We both uh, auditioned for it and we got the part. And uh, yeah, and it comes out this year. Yeah, we got, that, 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 they hit us up. We were performing at a, at a festival, the Pobusa Pup- Festival in, uh, where's Texas? No. Arizona. Arizona. And we're opening up for this lady who's a cumbia, like, legend. She sings, like, an anthem over there in El Salvador. El Sombrero Azul. Um, Pero yeah. dale, salvadoreño, que no hay pajaro pequeño, Total legend in El Salvador. De alzar el vuelo, se detenga en su bola. That's like Hermoso Cariño de Vicente Fernández in El Salvador. It's an anthem. So we opened up for her, and it was so dope. We, we made The next day, we went yeah. out to, like, lunch and dinner with her and stuff like that. Mm. 
So when we went to El Salvador, we had she had extended an invitation for us to go to a restaurant and stuff like that. So it was cool. We we saw her perform over there. It was super freaking dope. The oh, love was so enormous. Yeah. yeah, I think we asked you guys. Were people able to tell that you guys were uh, American when you guys were out oh, there? So I, I'll tell you. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah <that's laughs> yes, good for, question, sure. Man. for sure, man. Yeah. Sure. But I'll tell you one instance. So we were waiting for a car to pick us up, right? And uh, we were at Nelson's aunt's house. And uh, Nelson was kind of in the middle of the street checking to see if she was coming. And so I'm looking at Nelson from, like, the curb. And I'm looking at him like, man, this guy sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, <laughs> you could just tell, like, he's not from the area. I had all these fitted hats. I had chains. I had these, like, long Ready to get robbed, huh? <laughs> Everything wrong. But and it's like, just the swagger. Like, it's just different than from the local people. And it's like. Oh, I see what people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now. <laughs> I met some French girl on the plane heading over there because I was I was practicing my comedy in French and I was just saying some outrageous <laughs> shit and I was saying that out loud because like who the fuck's gonna understand me? I'm on a yeah. plane going to El Salvador and I'm just I'm just letting it rip. And she's like, "Do you have any idea what the fuck you're saying?" And she says it to me in French and I'm just like, "Oh shit!" And we get there to El Salvador and it's like three in the morning. I'm like, hey, you know, it's dangerous. My cousins are picking us up. You know, you should ride with us, this and that. I was trying to be friendly in French. She stabbed you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she robbed we, we, we get there and um, the, the next morning, I'll skip a couple stories. <laughs> the next morning, we're at my tia's pupuseria and we invite her and everything. And my tia thought she was my wife. Ooh. <laughs> my tia was like, She's like, puta, vos hizo salvadoreño. <laughs> no, but like his French, like people would hear it. And like, oh, you speak French? And like automatically they were like, oh. <laughs> like, I, they're, either, they're either admire me or wanted to rob me. One of the two. <laughs> because we're like in the capital and like I was speaking French with that French girl. And my, my primo was like, primo, caese los hijos. <laughs> because if they hear that you're from a different place, they're going to upcharge you. They're going to they're yeah. try to rip you off. So that's that's hilarious. Old Latin hospitality. Is, this as, huh? is, this as, is, that, uh, is it as dangerous as they say in the TV? Um, El not, Salvador? Yeah. No, it's not. They make no, it look like you're going to get robbed as oh. soon as you get out of the airport. We no, had, you know what? So your neck experience. or something. A lot, a lot has changed in the last few years. Um, <clears throat> but just us. The new like, president, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But even us being there as tourists, really. And because we went to a couple like El Tunco, which is kind of a party El place. Tunco. We. Yeah. Super like dope. there was non Salvadorinos at El Tunco. We met a whole group of Russians. I met French girls there too, aside from the one on the plane. Um, yeah, yeah. It's a badass spot right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a cool spot and people from all over the place are, you know It's popping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so it's 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 a different vibe now. And it's a lot safer for sure. Is that and in the capital right there, San Salvador? That was in the La Libertad, La Libertad so along yeah. the coast. But yeah. it's it's so dope. I think that was my favorite spot. And we went to nicer places, but I wouldn't say probably not as fun. Because yeah, right yeah, there, yeah, sure. it's, it's, it's <clears throat> very minimal. People andan, andan in sandalias and just dancing cumbias, eating pupusas. We had, they had tacos there too, remember? Yeah. How were right they? Right they cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 3.6. Not great, not terrible. <laughs> It'll fill you up. <laughs> uh, but no, no, a lot has changed. And uh, I think, you know, as a tourist, like I tell people, like, go. There's a lot of cool spots. A lot of resorts for like dirt cheap. I think the place we stayed at was like 160 bucks a night and it was like a Bad luxury ass. resort wow that's yeah, crazy that yeah. cool. my neighbor who was salvadoran Santorio toda la noche cerote he would tell me every <laughs> night making too much noise that fool would leave would um he would tell me these wild stories because he would save up his money he's married but he would go to his hometown he lives over there by some beach I don't know, Colima, not Mexico, Colima, Mexico. But at least he, he found some beach area in El Salvador. But he goes over there, bro, with like, I don't know how much. Anyways, he described it as, no, like he was Tom Cruise over there, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Because yeah, like, he had like, he was partying every night. In Vanilla Sky. And like, <laughs> he, went over there with, shit, dude. he went over there with all his vacation money, bro, to that little town where he's from. He came back dark as fuck again, bro. Like real. Right there from the, in the beach. Going to the right beach the and Pacific? drink beer. And That's what they wore shorts and sandals, bro, all day. <clears throat> well, the bucket of beer was what, like. Eight eight bucks? That, I'm, me, Three me bucks? and Jose. Eight bucks. Oh, for like I a have. Buck. I've performed with Jose so many times, and I, I get fucked up almost every show. I have never seen Jose drunk ever, yeah, despite right. popular belief, <laughs> not once. But I will say this: the only time I saw him a little frazzled is when we were in El Salvador because the. the it's so fucking hot. It's and hot. the the, the beer is good quick, and, yeah. and it's so cheap. 
H- Jose was saying like he was stammering on his words and he tried to say um, what'd you say Stone Cold Steve Austin he's a Cold Stone Steve Austin that sounds delicious he ice cream man. Wrestling yeah. name. Was, <laughs> they kept bringing beer and Cold <laughs> Stone Steve Austin they didn't ask but you wanted wrestling too well that was the other thing the food was taking forever so yeah. I just kept drinking beer a flex over there what people do because like the, the Salvadoran beer is really cheap so people buy like a Corona or Pacifico that costs two dollars and my uncle is like that's what you gotta do in the state like when impressed Go to a bar and pregunta por una Heineken. Puta. Las hipotas te van a decir, hey, papi, Puta. what's your name? Just <laughs> <laughs> like the cheat code. Ta. That's the ta. Hello, dog. Desde Pura Lana. What's up, fool? You have, you have a show coming up? Uh, yes, it? we do. November 25th, the Central American Heritage Festival. Oh, shit. November 25th, the Central American <laughs> Heritage Festival. It happened in the Rose coming up, too, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, December 3rd. So he's leaving Mexico. for 7 to 12 well, months. Guantanamo Bay, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, and so we're doing a roast. For training, so I'm a no, he's not going there, dude. Yeah, they're going to roast me. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's invited. Everyone's invited. December 3rd, Rose, ba- Rose right? And on yeah. there. And Beer Tech Brewery at 4 p.m. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. yeah right. I'm going to show up there, dude. Hell yeah. We need Quick question. Feedback. Salvadorian food in El Salvador, bomb as fuck. Or better oh, in America. Sure. Next level. I'm going to give unpopular opinion. Hopefully, I don't get canceled. Um, I like the Salvadorian food here better, only because I was Ooh. born and raised here. So I got used to this uh, the, taste the right taste here. Yeah. But not only that, the sizes. Because over here, like my grandma, she'll give us two big ass pupusas. Y con eso nos llenamos. Fuck. We go to over there. It's called El Pupusodromo. In Oluquilta, and they have like a bunch of little shacks, and and they they give you these pupusas. They're like you know three pupusas for a dollar, but you gotta eat like twenty five of these motherfuckers to get full. A little, <laughs> and they're made that arroz. I, I like I like the 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 um. I will say masa, though the, the, the pupusas masa, we had yeah. in Oluquilta were were pretty good. Oh, they were all good food. I'm yeah, just saying yeah. I prefer these. Like over here, I, my my favorite restaurant to go to is El Paseo San Miguel, and like. These fools, like, we get paid to eat pupusas. These fools don't pay me. I go there willingly because they're big and they're fucking good and they're thick. Mm. The ones over there, they're, they're like this and they're, they're really thin, which some people prefer. Are they uh, healthier what... compared to those out here? Because I've been to, like, you know, like, on Central right there in South LA. And, like, I love them greasy as fuck, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, With okay. a cheese, like, kind of crusty and, like, yeah. and brown. Yeah, dude, uh, that's, that's I, are they like that over there? No. Well, they're, they're, It depends. They're, so, like... Uh, okay. que no le echan tanta comida adentro, loco, porque lo quieren, lo quieren vender barato, ¿me entiendes? Oh, sí. Pero la ventaja de eso, outside of my tia's like little, little shack, she has like a little food también, a little negocio. Puta. Un chalet, se dice. Un kiosquito de comida, ya se llama un chalet. They, they, they sold, um, they sold um, empanadas. Me dieron tres empanadas por una cora. Wow. That's when I was like, puta. Because <laughs> 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 we're lucky to have a dollar for a okay, hell of a Also, is there a lot of fat people in Salvador too, or did, uh, is that they, they can tell you guys were from over there? You're no, a little chubby. There, I think we stuck out. I think, yeah, we definitely <laughs> stuck the fuck out. <laughs> Two big ass guys. Y esto quienes son hoy. Los cochinos. Los reyes. Reyes del parral. It was funny, fool, because like my tia, I was doing some exercises with my cousin over there, but this time, when we went to Salvador, I was like 130 pounds heavier, fool. Oh, but yeah. I, was, oh. I was still working out. So I'm working out with my cousin Armando and I'm chilling so like we're doing like I don't know what the fuck a duck walk or some shit like that. <laughs> and my tia's like put the para chibolita para arriba para abajo ahí. <laughs> he calls me fake fat because like I'll eat one time like, and you're full. I'm good like throughout the day. He wants a day. Younger, that's why. Me, bro. Yeah, he, once or twice a day. I, right? I, I once a day. Yeah, look, yeah. bro, I have nothing bad to say about Jose and I'll never have anything bad to say about this fool because honestly, and you know this fool, he's the nicest guy. He's yeah, super fair he's and generous. Very bro. nice. Ninety-nine point nine point nine percent of our arguments have been what Jose. <laughs> when are we gonna eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys should marry each other. Never <laughs> eats, bro. Because this fool never well, eats, dog. You never eat. Or no, you never so see I, him I eat. Oh. No, I eat. But like, if I eat a good breakfast, I'm mm. good for the whole day. And this, you, food, you we'll eat a whole ass breakfast. Hungry. Two hours later, like, hey, when are we gonna eat? I'm like, we just ate. <laughs> I gotta feed the demon, <laughs> huh, fool? <laughs> but the difference, like, when I was when I was more with I used to lift weights a lot, and like that was my thing. So I was I was I was still with it, but I was always hungry. Always worked out. I was always hungry, fool, and I couldn't control my appetite. Working though. the appetite, yeah, working yeah. it. You look, you look way thinner than you were the last Thank time you were on the pod. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's good. Yeah. Esa camisa no le queda. That's true. No, <laughs> I had a I had a bigger one that I had to get to him. more letters this before, huh? It's a no, Salvadorian. No, no, now it's just a Salvi. <laughs> 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 but because Thanksgiving's coming up, are you going to splurge? Yeah, well, it's my fucking birthday tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Feliz Cumpleaños. Yeah. 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 30, 30 years old, what? right? Yeah, 30. Dirty 30, man. Orale, homie. Yeah, What's up, fool? Bro, 
Do, do you ever like you ever like had a Thanksgiving where you you made that what is that bread called the chumpe right pan, pan, pan con chumpe pan con chumpe right that's yeah. Christmas thing or or, or Salvadoran or Thanksgiving it's thing both both Thanksgiving and Christmas thing and I know you and I know you're vegan there's a place in was it we were talking about he's been there Mama Tamales yeah yeah, yeah. They, uh, their pan con pollo is so fucking good bro I love their pupusas bro Mama Tamales I love their fucking so during breakfast yeah. and right Shout next out to Claudia. is that MacArthur Park yeah and right next yeah. door they have a real authentic Salvadoran restaurant Pollo Campero no, no they have Iguana <laughs> oh yeah oh, Iguana shit. bro that's where to find that. Yeah. yeah the pan sin pollo that See, they I'm not have? that Salvadoran I won't fucking eat Iguana uh, uh, I've never been like puta <laughs> que se me antoja hoy vos una puta Iguana but now that I know I'm gonna go there <laughs> and, yeah, and try pow. Iguana you should try it bro and post it up Film but, um, El Garrobero El Garrobero that's crazy, man. Um, How would you feel if, like, uh, Del Taco started serving ta- uh, pupusas? <laughs> they, bro? Will, bro. Like, they, they, they can are, try. Bro. They can try. But I think they'll be, like, honor, frozen because we're going to roast the fuck out of them. The ramen birri is all right, though. Somebody it people was are saying. not bad, dude. You, you tried it already? It's in the neighborhood. Bro, you know, I saw your, your tamale video with the hot dog. She was hilarious. That, that, uh, <laughs> I asked my my aunt to make me some tamales with weenies, and she, <laughs> she made a she couple. Made hilarious. <laughs> It's, it's technically pork, bro. <laughs> yeah. got it's got an history pork. <laughs> some people are like, some people actually thought the video was like, you know, like my reactions were you're like, oh, dude, fuck that bitch. You're like, oh, no, hey, hey, dude, that's my <laughs> tia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the other crazy thing. Like, you know, people just believe whatever. People believe? <laughs> it's weird, yeah. People still think that he's my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the first uh, uh, Southern Heritage Night, people were coming up to me. I was like, oh, where's your son? Cause he didn't he didn't go to the first one. <laughs> People really thought like he's my son. Or like lately, I've been, I've been like doing some shows just like on my own with some other fools, and like they're like, "Hey, where's your dad? Where's your dad? Where's your dad?" I was like, the "Number one question I get with this fool." Or like they'll see this fool out. This was out and about with his family. He's like, "Hey, your dad's here with your mom and this family. Are you gonna show up?" I'm like, "What the fuck?" To their man, to their man. You're gonna set the record straight. <laughs> one time, I, I had just done your podcast for the first time. And it was like two weeks later. I'm performing at the Kibitz Room, and this oh, was shit. this was with me. And um, the guys, they don't, he didn't, they don't know who the fuck. It's a Jewish bar. They don't know who the hell they're cantors. Were. Yeah, a canter. So we give him kind of like the jazz bar on the side. Yeah. yeah. So this guy is like, all right, this next comedian coming up to the stage is a Salvadorian viral TikTok sensation. He's been doing the comedy thing for over twenty years. Very successful. Very funny. Put your hands together. This was running to the stage for the very funny. Nelson, and it was like <laughs> does an about face and walks off. God. I get on stage, it was like Puta. twenty years ago. For I was seven. <laughs> Puta. We're, we're ready for the bit for a question. What's oh, up, man. fool, man? I've been studying my my um. I've been taking. I'm gonna take the citizenship class, and these are my citizenship questions. It's a hundred yeah. questions. God damn, and dude. I can only get ten wrong, and you know the yeah. questions, man. If, and we're going to ask you, these people here who are American citizens. You're all American citizens? You're yeah, all born yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and, and if, you get, if you get it wrong, you, you get to you gotta take a shot. So we're going to go around. I'm going to just randomly God, pick a shoot. question right here. Let's see here. Right here, bro. You, bro. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Oh, I know Louisiana. this one. Louisiana. Louisiana, all right, Damn bro. Damn it, he, dude. He got lucky. No shot. He, but he went to France, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's he, what he gave he, Yeah, he had the fucking advantage. Louisiana. <laughs> Louisiana. Louisiana Purchase, baby. And also, I think... Here you go, bro. You got one oh, here, bro. Shit, dude. Name one war fought by the United States in 1800. Uh, the Civil War. And also the French... Uh, no, no. That was in the 1700s. Yeah. It was the Civil War. Yeah, you got it, bro. All right, then. Yeah. Yeah, right, sober fool. as fuck. It's hard ass fool. Name the U.S. war between the North and South. Uh, the North and Southern War. Uh, it's the same one that happened in Salvador. The Civil War. <laughs> yeah, bro. Right, <laughs> Captain. I should say Captain America. The Salvadorian Civil War. <laughs> what is the supreme law of the land? Oh, you gotta know this one, bro. What is the supreme law of it's the a land? It's document, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're the official right. what's Be, a fool I'll give you, historian. Give you no. yeah, the, yeah. Right. Before well, this was yeah. established? Yeah, the Constitution. Before, yeah, right, that's the what? The Constitution. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, that, wait, the Constitution? What you know, does the, right the Constitution contract? do? Uh, the Constitution is pretty much the... Supreme the laws power. that the our founding fathers uh what's it called made when they first uh when they when they started writing with feathers bro you know yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> yeah. that's not a good answer what is that 
that's well, it. we don't know if this was born here because his mom has his birth certificate. Bro, the, so. bro. <laughs> what do the Constitution do, bro? They set up, sets up government, they find the government, Checks protects the basic rights of America, mm-hmm. bro. Uh, half a shot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit. I just sent my mom's citizenship to my recruiter. And the, her naturalization certificate looks like a big ass dollar bill for it's just funny. We got it wrong, dog. Ah, we'll take a shot. Okay. You homie. I love it. Under our constitution, some powers belong mm-hmm. to the states. What is one power of the state? The state There's like five of them, bro. The power to oppress people. Um bear arms? Yeah. <laughs> no one um was only well, there's five of them but you could only, you could only you could pick one. You just need one. Oh man, this is such a big what's the power of the state? Yeah. Well, I know there's state like they have to provide this for every city, American citizen. School That's, lunch, homie. <laughs> <laughs> education? You're right, bro, education. Yeah. You give him an answer, bro. I fucking <laughs> shit. I could, I should have kept that right, one. Give me Who is one. the governor of your state right now, bro? Uh, Newsom. Yes. <laughs> I was, was going to say, I, I, I was, didn't know. I was, was going to say Gray Davis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Wait, Wilson. Rodrigo, Pete, yeah, Pete Wilson. Rodrigo, what do, what, what do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? A beautiful flag. Yeah. All right, bro. <laughs> what is one promise Take your shot, you Rudy, make honey? when you become a United States citizen? To protect. <laughs> Was zesty as hell. This nation from all threats, foreign and domestic. To not burn dollars. Yeah, service needed. <laughs> how, old, <laughs> how old do citizens shot, have to shot. be to vote? You got it yeah, right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, how old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18. Yeah, all right. You're right. Damn it! I wanted that one, dude. What is the last? <laughs> what is the last day you, you can send in the federal income tax reform? Well, they keep saying that shit, right? Like, like it's like April. We need shot. a date, bro. April. Then it's like fucking like. It was one answer, bro? Hey, I remember during the pandemic they send that shit like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> give him the shot. April. Yes, give him the shot. What? No. <laughs> the last day. Uh, when, when, when is the last day you can send in federal income tax reforms? And it's the, day, the same day every year. He doesn't do his taxes. Yeah, it, yeah. It, that's like that's April. April yeah. What? Fucking what is it? Got the Shakira tax road. That's April twenty first. No, April fifteenth. Oh. April. I was gonna say fifteen too. Fuck. I was gonna say eighteen. I was like, do your taxes, bro. <laughs> he hasn't done his taxes since. Uh, what is one reason why colonists came to America? Religious freedom. Yeah, bro. Damn. It's in the Constitution. <laughs> I wanted that one, dude. Let's see here, bro. Last two more, and that's it. Hold on, eh? This was not going to forget the que- the answers of these what, questions. What, what did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Oh, come on, buddy. Uh, Help Rizzo take a shot. <laughs> uh, free the slaves. That's yeah, such a so, so, yeah, All right. <laughs> I was, was pointing at this because... <laughs> nah. What, what did Susan B. Good. Anthony do? Uh, she... Uh, she uh, put together a, a flag, right? She knitted a flag. She won a uh, American Idol. Shot, shot, First shot, person shot, to vote shot. in 1920. She invented no, the chicken it's woman's suffrage. She fought for women's rights, bro. Yeah, women's suffrage. But the first one was wrong. No, it was wrong. <laughs> drinking, give me some whiskey. I'll take it. I don't, I don't drink uh, vodka. I have no, okay. No, I'll take you got it. it right. You got it right. Okay, you got yeah, it right. No, no, no. Give me that right. one that he pours, so he doesn't pour it. I'll take it. Fuck it. <laughs> Just to encourage you, bro. Integrity. I love it. Just Integrity, bro. Mm. Who was the president, bro, during the Great Depression and World War Two? FDR, bro. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> FDR. <laughs> Damn, this is clean. I'm right clean. Eh? Roosevelt, yeah. Honestly, I didn't know. All right, he gave that's a good one. No, but that's always a go-to. FDR, but yeah. but that was a long the depression too, because it wasn't like the, uh, theater or two. Like, in the all right, bro, ready? ready? Well, do shot. D- during the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Uh, that Russia was a spine. Nuclear. And uh, the no whole nuclear war that the Russians were gonna. I mean, there's a whole bunch of right, what, factors. What, what's Russia? What's Russia though? What's her? What's her political the, leading? USSR. No, no, sí, pero qué es, güey? O sea, 
Nosotros somos... Oh, communists. Yeah, 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 yeah communists. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it wrong. Now do your shopping. <laughs> yeah, so get but you learned something. <laughs> yeah, the, the communists. So yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to stop communists. And also, they don't want them to go to fucking Here space, bro. Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Name one of the longest rivers in the United States. Oh, uh, the Nile. Uh, the, 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 the Mississippi River. Yeah, right. Yeah, bro. Mississippi. Ohio Mississippi. This one's for me. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. All right. Oh, Name one state at the border of Mexico. Texas. Boom. There it is. Name where where is the Statue of, where is the Statue of Liberty? Staten Island. All right, so a, no Liberty Island actually. Here so we I, go. I just became. <laughs> no, I believe it. <laughs> no. Hey, you gotta imagine. For him. I just became a Salvadoran citizen. Oh, you had to take a test too. No, so here's it. So the, just what does so. MSG stand for? <laughs> <laughs> MS they don't MSG. even have ID cards over there, do they? <laughs> so this is this is public uh, what do you call, uh, public service announcement. If your one of your parents is Salvadoran, you don't have to take a test. You're automatically uh, Salvadoran by. Uh, Proxy, but no, by uh, uh, by birth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow. By association, so, homie. Here when you become so a citizen, you don't have to take they a give test. you a little flag. <laughs> so dual, dual citizen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a dual citizen. So now we're gonna ask instead of throwing uh, <laughs> instead of throwing uh, caps in the air, you throw pupusas. Yeah, <laughs> so you have the, your your Salvadorian one. You have one on you. Yeah, I'm a dual. I have a I have a Puerto Rican one. And so just to encourage you, you know, you're you're practicing your questions. My my dad, who doesn't uh, write speak or write English, passed it. You took it in Spanish, right? Yeah. So no, I was his translator. <laughs> La pa, dicen que que diga Martin Luther King. What's up, food dates? Last dates of the year. I right, send it. November twenty fourth to the twenty sixth. That's this weekend. I'll be being in Tacoma, Washington, December first, Kansas City, Missouri, December second, Napa, California. Tickets are going fast. December 8, 9, 10, Portland, Oregon. December 14th through the 17th, Austin, Texas. Woo. The mothership, all the, the little the little baby room is sold out. Hell December yeah. 23rd, Rotterdam, Netherlands. Woo. One show. Hell only. yeah, dude. Also, man, I just found out I'm going to go see um the, the, the band, the, the beat, originally the English beat, December 22nd at this bar and they're gonna be playing ska mirror oh, in the yeah. bathroom please not yeah. free the door yeah. is open use jerky you can see and them in Europe they're the badass dude bad fuck bad yeah. save it, it for later 25 pounds to get in bro just looked it up that ain't shit it's um, the, the dude, beach, cool, but not English dude. people. The the black dude's gonna be singing yeah. though. Did they break up? Is that why they? I they, think so. Well, a couple of them are. Yeah. yeah, a couple of them are left. January twenty yeah. second. Same shit. Bahamas with Impractical Jokers, Steve O, Eric Andre. Also, we're gonna be doing a live What's Up Food podcast on that ship. Okay. And man, if you're ever looking, if you're looking to jam out and party with comedians, January twenty second through twenty sixth. There it is there, man. We're going to party. We're going to eat dry bread with good hamburgers. <laughs> I told you, impractical what, what smokers meets impractical jokers, bro. Yeah, I, I went out, bro. <laughs> I was in hiding like Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be this, in the backstage room. Cruises get wild, man. Yeah, they uh, get If you want to party bro. for, for like, if you want to party all those days, that'll be the place to do it at. You know what's sad, bro? When you see, like, people who are swingers and they're trying to pick up another couples and, and they're not into them, like, they're gross. You know, <laughs> the last day of the cruise. The last day of cruise. The oh, last they're, they're all, yeah, that's like last call, huh. probably, last huh? It was last call. The lights bro. are on. Like, I gotta get, I gotta get that pineapple. They were getting extra down. close. <laughs> oh wow! The guy, the guy was dressed head to toe in pineapple yeah. gear, and so was his wife. <laughs> his name was. Uh, his name was. Uh, what, what's the singer? Something piña. <laughs> Santo also, Pina, bro. <laughs> What's up, fool? <laughs> Everybody who came out to Nashville, Tennessee, thank you very much. All the all the Mexican raza who showed up from oh, yeah, Antioch, yeah. Tennessee. What up? That was bad. That was a fun show, dude. People were cool out there. We are, oh, uh, dude. The pro, dude. It was crazy out there. It was a whole bunch of stuff Ooh. going on. Did you guys find dude. Mexican that, that speak with like a southern accent? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I remember like I Birmingham. Texas, bro. I, I was in Georgia. I, I was a fireman. We deployed there for hurricane. You did everything. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're fucking Jason Bourne. What the hell, bro? Dude? <laughs> Who are you talking to right we, now? An illusion? We, Forrest we, Gump. We were, we were, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> we were helping the red Bosque, guy. Bosque. Like, like, like a bowl of pupusas. Bosque so, gump right here, dude. We, we found some Mexicans food, and I was so excited. Like, hell yeah, raza. <laughs> or like, like, my lieutenant was like, ask this food. Where they seen the most damaged areas? I'm like, for sure. Señor, por casualidad, usted no ha visto una área más dañada que aquí? And he looks at me with this Mexican ass food. He's like, son, I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> That God. food was Mexican, but he yeah. had been in Georgia for like generations. You you called him Forrest Gump. I, I mean, he's he's Forrest Gump. So we've been we, <clears throat> I've been teaching him comedy, right? I've been taking him places, molding him to a stand-up comedian, and then he says, "I'm just, mold here, me mold me, bro." And, 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 and then, I want to be a soldier. <laughs> and then he goes, "Yeah, I'm gonna be a soldier." You, you know that scene in Forrest Gump where Forrest is running, and yeah. then he stops and he goes, "I think I'm gonna go home now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Nelson moment where the I'm, braces break off. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, we'll be, we'll, oh, oh, on his tire running. <laughs> I, I, I want to ask you. Uh, what, reconsider what, fuck what, all that shit, dude. It, what are you thankful for? <laughs> it's Thanksgiving episode, oh, right? right? Oh yeah, yeah. Bro, we were at a we were at a, <laughs> at a, at a dinner party oh, with my, <laughs> we were at a dinner party one time for Thanksgiving, and then um, the, the the lady suggested to. To do that, what we're thankful for, and we all started laughing, bro. <laughs> Feel the spirit. And my mom started being saying stuff too, man. And we are like embarrassed. La Virgencita. <laughs> That's how Latinos are saying. Por estas luces. La- last time, last time I was listening to the podcast, cal- my mom called. Remember when I had to pick up? And you were like, you were like, estamos en la cárcel. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, you know? thankful for? for? Who? Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm thankful well, that for sweatshirt, bro. My, the sweatshirt that right fits me, well, yeah. friends, good food, oh, yeah. my car that's not breaking down. I'm oh, thankful well. for that. You know? Henry. Henry, my, my doggies, you know, my girl. I'm thankful for the food I'm going to eat tomorrow. So, yeah. I'm mm. going to my... Uh, How about your mom's... Hey, does the Salvador make their, their style of cheesecake too? So, so no, we make bread pudding. Ooh, what? They, yeah, bread yeah. pudding. So they make... What, what really? Like, why, is it, why is this new to me? Is it better than Capirotada? Because... Also, our, our bread pudding is Capito Let yeah, me tell you, bro, yeah. it's different. Yeah, it's it's different. semi-okay. I, I, no, it's, it's, it's good. Different. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's fire. But uh, Salvadoran quesadilla is considered. Uh, oh, that pan. Yeah. It's a oh, cheese a pound cake. I love it. The sesame it's not, seeds. It's not a yeah. cheesecake, but it's a cheese pound But it's cake. kind of a little cheesecake-ish. So, yes that and no. Good. Very subtle. For very subtle. Cheesecake is very. It's, it's, it's yeah. soft. The right. quesadilla is it's like. Mm, there's, yeah. a, there's a place in Pico Rivera, close to where you're at, it's called El Maná um, Bakery on Slauson and Passons. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's mi a amor. It's a, Salvadorian, it's a Salvadorian bakery ran by these like oh, Salvadorian girls. Hey, it's very buoyant, it's, but it also buoyant, dense like at, at the buoyant. end. It's, <laughs> the buoyant. it's fluffy but moist. It's fucking perfect, dude. So. Buoyant, bro. These tacos are buoyant, <laughs> homie. Buoyant. 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 <laughs> hey, bro. Um, oh, yeah, mi amor. Do because I have a feeling that that, that queso cake you're talking about, if, even if, it is, if it's going bare, like just say it's going bad, <laughs> Like just say like you know it, it gets rotten sooner or later, right? But there's that level where it's not it's going bad, but not really. Does it taste better? Because because this cheese tastes better when it's old, you know. El queso, you el pan, right? It, Does it get old better when it's older? No, 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 no. No, no it don't taste that good. El queso, <laughs> el queso tampoco loco, pero lo que sé con el queso, I, there's some shit called queso duro blando. It's like an yeah, oxymoron. Yeah. But that shit like it smells like cheese, like it smells like feet off the rib. Mm. But That's it's supposed to smell like when that, I right? When in France too, like I, unpopular opinion, I don't like French cheeses. Like that shit just Get smells like here. rancid. Food. Rancid, ran really bad. Wait, like there's some shit called magual. Is that what the or the gusanitos? No, no, no. no Which no, one's no, that no. one? Because uh, I see seen... Italian cheese. Ooh. Yeah. But yeah, over there in the northern part of France, there's this, there's this thing called <laughs> magual, and like they, they make you it's cremoso loco, pero tiene una una crosta. It has a crust. And once Crosa. you bite into that crust, fool, oh my god, <clears throat> your fucking breath is kicking like Jackie Chan for the whole fucking. Uh, there's <laughs> like certain foods, in, like I know there's certain food in, in that we we eat in Mexico. That I wouldn't fuck with, bro, like lengua Chapulines. and all that shit. Chapulines. I don't fuck with but I fuck with lengua. Um, ho- ho- pozole made with fucking pig feet. No, yeah. what's the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not pozole. The Piche culo. Menudo, right? That's menudo. You don't fuck with menudo, right? No, I sorry. So we went to... Pozole, but you have your own version too, right? A menudo? <clears throat> I don't know. If or pozole or a stew, right? Well, we have our own stews, but stews, we have pozole yeah, too. But so when I went to Mexico with my friends, and we went to like deep in Mexico... And like I remember, they were serving menudo for breakfast, 
And I was mm. like, oh. Eso es para la cruda, I, I, yeah. I don't think I'm going to eat breakfast today. <laughs> <laughs> was, it red, uh, was it red menudo or white one? Red. Okay, that's good shit right there. Yeah. That's for the cruda for sure, dude. Yeah. yeah. But. Let me tell you, bro, you have not had a cruda, bro, in LA. You, you have never been had a hungover in LA to you drank menudo out of a Coke cup, bro. In Echo Park, walking the streets. God <laughs> damn, that sounds hardcore. Bro. That's, that's bro, like a walk of shame was, right there, it dude. It was a walk of shame, bro. <laughs> I was nope. partying for three days straight, and I finally woke up, and I went to Echo Park. I went to Sunset Silver Lake on Sunset and Parkman, <clears throat> but now it's a fancy restaurant. But back then, it used to be a boot. It used to be a restaurant that used to have um, Jack in the Box signs inside, but they didn't sell Jack in the Box. <laughs> and, um, that's so and, and they were. I, I wanted a menudo to go because I was too dirty. I felt too disgusting to eat inside even though it's a ghetto restaurant so i said give me a menu to go and she put it in a large coke cup bro <laughs> and i put all the condiments right there in the drive through bro and i put all the lemons and the salsa Fuck it. and then she had um i had a side of beans and i opened my beans and i put them inside of the where the sodas go in the fucking um in the car and i was driving around bro drinking beans and fucking God, eating, damn, dude. eating menudo, bro. Bro, that doesn't sound Sounds pretty good. good. Not bad. bad. Yeah, with I, a, I'm with, hungry, with bro. With a King yeah. Cobra, bro. <laughs> damn. Hey, dude, you're, fucking, yeah. you're about that life, I'm homie. Like, oh, my God, Mickey. dog. With a King no. Cobra. But the King Cobra was in a plate. In the <laughs> <laughs> but it was <laughs> probably the best menudo I ever had. Probably because I was sick, too. But it's probably one of the best menudo I ever had. Eh? And I could see, like, menudo wasn't meant to be in that waxy Coke cup. Yeah. You know the Coke cup has a little wax? <laughs> oh, that's why it was melting. Dude. Dude. On the bottom, bro, I could see like the the, 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 the wax, wax getting in there. I didn't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> I was eating a fucking, it turned into a menudo Bella, homie. candle. Eh? <laughs> Bella, Bella! And and homie, and homie, homie, homie. Bella, homie. Have you ever had menudo that good since? <laughs> no, bro, I have not. <laughs> that sounds good. Beans with menudo, bro. Because you know what it was? <laughs> they, had, um, <laughs> they had a They had a little bag that had the menudo condiment mix in it. It had the, the red chili, and it had the oregano, it and it had some other pepper that belongs to it. I guess I don't know what's the other pepper that they put on tamales too sometimes. Oh, and no, it's, like, no, it's not tahin, but it's like a red pepper. Yeah, and that, and I just freak it on top, bro. Fucking delicious. That's, that's my lowest, bro, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your sounds a lowest, but it sounds funny. <laughs> yeah, low, bro. A king cobra, bro, and uh, menudo and a side of beans. Boy, dude. I went to I went to the park to smoke a fast joint, then I cried. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's their lowest point. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's always a lower you know, point. Yeah. You know what would have would have ruined my day if somebody would have hit my car or I would have to stop real fast and that menudo would have burned my chest, bro. Oh, that would have yeah. Like like Kevin Malone, you would spill that whole shit, bro. Here's an inspiration. Menudo quote. tears. There's always a lower point. When I was just doing, uh, <laughs> when I just started doing comedy with this fool, like I was so fucking broke because I was trying to do it as much as possible with this fool. I don't have a regular job. You were selling your wee wee, huh? Oh, for I was hey, dude. <laughs> pictures of my esophagus, whatever. For this fool would send me pizzas all the time, <laughs> but sometimes this fool would come over and eat the pizza with me. That's how he would come over. There was no more pizza. Pizza from where? Pizza loca. No, he ordered $5 pizza. 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 Yeah. He, he would send me like Domino's and shit because he had points. Oh, shit. <laughs> he would dude. use my points. <laughs> yeah. No, like this fool. I'm telling you, this fool, Calidad Persona. I never had a problem with this fool. This fool was always super generous. I'll ask him for 10 bucks. He'll send me 100 fool. Bro, he no, very The only time <laughs> I'll argue with this fool is because he wouldn't, he wouldn't fucking feed Because he always been a nice person, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro, like, like in, you know, like in stand up comedy, there's people like you talk shit about, you know, or you say good stuff about them. But anybody that has ever said anything bad about Jose, there hasn't been any, right? But I know whoever does, that person is a bad person. Yeah. I <laughs> like, think, nah, I well, that's I, common I would have been like, nah, <laughs> listen, Chepo, what did he do? Give me a ride? <laughs> he didn't want to give you a ride from somewhere far? <laughs> you want to pick you up a bacon field? <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's Dick. Right. I had a car back then. <laughs> didn't want to put in for so you're married now with children? I have, yeah, yeah, I have three kids. Jesus uh, Christ. Married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had uh, a pandemic baby. Oh, wow. Yeah. How old are your yeah. oldest? My oldest is 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already? You're a yeah. dad. You're a busy dad, bro. Ten, you, you yeah, have a yeah. long career. So speaking of thankful, what we're thankful for, my wife, really, she's, uh, without her, I don't That's get That's the same do. one lady you've been with since those. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Then fucking free. What are they call the, 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 the nights we just do at improv? 
Uh, refried. Refried. Oh, refried. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she was. Yeah, so we've been together. You have a, um, a twenty-nine-year-old Salvadorian dude too. <laughs> yeah, my twenty-nine hey, Salvadorian hey, hey, old son. <laughs> Came out. Uh, hey, rem- remember that show we did at the at the fucking um, Refried Friday where where it, it was sold out. But it was all people that brought in people. You brought your 15, right? Bringer. But Bringer remember that Bringer. fucking, that, that uh, good-looking soap opera dude that brought in everybody? Which one? Carlos Santos? No, it was, oh. a, it was a friend of mine from back in the day. He, he did Wild Coyotes. He was a good-looking guy. He jumped on Santa Barbara and disappeared. And they started doing stand-up again. He brought all his actor friends, bro, to a couple of shows. And then he finally figured it out that he's not getting paid. He stopped doing it. <laughs> <laughs> pa que? Pa que? They're just using my audience, he was saying. Yeah, he was, he was a good guy. <laughs> What's up, fool? So your show is December 3rd is the roast at 4 o'clock. December Where at? December 3rd is the roast at 4 o'clock in the city of Bell at Beer Thug Brewing. Bad oh, look at you right there, bro. That's it. Oh, look at you, oh, man. Are there going to be pupusas there? Or that's the main re- be- reason people no, want to go. No, you know what? I think they have you mariscos already scheduled yeah. there. Ooh, I'm down. Aguachiles? Mm. <laughs> yeah. We like mariscos too. My neighbor who was Salvadorian, bro, that fool would give me his... He, cause I, he would like bring me um food, bro. And one of the only thing he brought me um, was ceviche. It was a totally different from our ceviche. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It hits different. It's... it's uh, Peruvian uh, ceviche is different too. Yeah, they use popcorn. Pa- yeah, yeah, dude. I saw that in Miami, bro. Palomitas, yeah. Some use corn nuts, bro. Yeah, I was like, corn how nuts? am I going to eat this shit? It's just like... Palomitas, bro. Lisa, the one that was telling me that they use popcorn in the <clears throat> fucking um, ceviche. Ecuador? Ecuador ceviche. My friend was Ecuadorian. Ricky, like, pop, Ricky that right there, bro. Send it back. Send it back. <laughs> pop secret, bro. Pop secret. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> yes or no, bro. So Durans do fuck with Taco Bell too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's, my, that's my favorite. Hey, fast it's food, good, bro. Yeah, bro. Everybody, everybody, like, like it's hard because like people like I always thought like, okay, man, I'm never gonna be one of those people that eats fast food in other countries. But as, as soon as they got to the Bahamas, I went straight to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> but I got off a boat, eh? Taco <laughs> yeah. Bell had the, the. I don't know if they still do because I haven't been there in a minute. But they had the breakfast egg burrito for like a dollar twenty nine. You can get it with bacon or sausage. So good. I would, I would just drive by. Cause I, when, uh, you sold it to me talking that slow. <laughs> yeah. No, because I would drop off my kids at my mom's house because she would watch my kids. And there was a Taco Bell there. So my routine was drop off the kids, go get my $1.29 burrito. Y vámonos. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? How fast food changes like in different countries that you go to. Like in Mexico and El Salvador is different. They have a Salvadorian breakfast at McDonald's and with shit. Platanos frito. In, in France, they have the fucking the Mac Baguette in, in Mac McDonald's. Baguette. Yeah. In Puerto Rico, they have like their own criollo sandwiches and stuff. It was really good. You was telling me that they have beans and <laughs> what the, what's it called the McGriddles? The, the, no, the McMuffin. That sounds the good, sandwich. dude. Like, like a torta, Where? basically, dude. City. Oh man, bet, yeah. In Hawaii, they have like it's spam and good. eggs and shit. Dude, dude, that's fucking really good. good. Yeah, yeah bro. Really fucking good. I remember going to like Tijuana 20 years ago and the AM PM was a restaurant out there. Like you actually were able to sit down and order at combos. It was weird, here, dude. <laughs> but like their oxos, <laughs> their oxos are pretty good too. Oxos, yeah, I like oxos. They're pretty yeah. like surtidito. Oxos. That's like 7 Eleven over there, huh? Yeah, yeah. it's funny because like over there, way. they have everything that's like not good for you. It's like alto volumen de azúcar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they were showing this is Pepsi or a Coke. I didn't know if it was true. You know, it's like. Uh, high in sugar And they showed like A diabetic foot on there Is that true <laughs> Was that just like A meme or something Cause they show Bad is. lungs too You know They oh, show cancerous yeah, lungs yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true that's right Canada. Right? Isn't that crazy In Canada When you buy a pack of cigarettes It's all covered up it, it, Like you know You buy Marlboro lights Or Marlboros When you buy cigarettes In Canada It doesn't It doesn't look like A Marlboro cigarettes It looks like Cigarettes you bought At the army It just says Marlboro lights And the whole package Is green And right on a package there's a toilet with blood in it. Like, this what might happen to you if you smoke. <laughs> That's how it is in Mexico, oh, oh, yeah. Have bad teeth. Uh, in, we, imagine, in Mexico, when you buy condoms, it shows you dicks with uh, syphilis. It's weird. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But imagine. <laughs> yeah, imagine, bro. You buy a cheeseburger from fat ass food. That's what happens to you. It's funny they did that with. Imagine, they'll, never do that with they'll, they'll never do that with fast food. How you go buy a Big Mac, and then on, 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 on the Happy Meal, they show, one you, of us. They, like, they show you a bad heart. <laughs> sit, sit on the toilet. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> call, somebody's colon. Some you go to clutch in his chest. Yes. You go to Pupu Somebody was sick or sick. We should do that. That's a scare right there. That's a, yeah, that's a scare. <laughs> this might happen yeah. to you. Yeah. Sit yeah. on the toilet. How chorro. Blown out. You ever been constipated? Yeah. 
Hello, Peter. <laughs> Hello, Peter. <laughs> yeah, like we like we just had because uh, I'm a cadet already, so we were so we were at a cheese um, factory, huh? No, <laughs> we had factory. MREs, the the military <laughs> meals. Like the first time we ate them, like I, dude, I didn't shit for like a week, man. What's MRA? MRE is a meal ready to eat. Uh, so like a, like a little middle in a little green it's, it's a a metal tray. You add hot water and it chemically uh, yeah. heats it up. There's there's like a pouch that has like this like I don't know like sand element and you, you put water it, in right? there and you put in like your food pouch in there. Hey, lo calienta. It takes like a, like a couple of minutes for lo calienta. But honestly, you're so fucking busy. No tienes tiempo para calentarlo. Like those. That shit yeah. don't expire for like fucking fifty <laughs> years too. Huh? Yeah, but even when they expire, spread, you still huh? eat it. That's, yeah, that's, I've seen those videos Yeah, people eat those So like, what's your Instagram? People can follow you My Instagram is Nelsito Echeveria And on TikTok Is Nelsito El Gordito And then Jose So it's H-O-O-Z-A-Y It's uh, Jose But in English Jose <laughs> <laughs> Hey man Did you ever do that show Over there With fucking Papa Chulo Papa Chulo And over there In Blythe Bra- Brawley Barstow somewhere No 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 by him. What was that place, bro? That was Calexico. Oh, Calexico, yeah. Calexico, yeah. Like right by like fucking Mexicali, bro. Escalera, right? Huh? Was he Salvadorian? No. No, the promoter <laughs> out there in the uh, Imperial Valley. It's an old right? ass gay we used to do, bro. They would give us the key to the hotel and it was an actual key. Yeah. Oh, shit. The hotel looked like where Selena got shot, dude. It was like Damn. the Salton yeah. Sea, basically, bro. What's up, fool? Have you ever watched Matt Rife's new special? Oh. I watched the, the first 10 minutes and, he, and uh, he, he did something that a lot of comedians wouldn't have the. The balls to do a joke that you probably somebody would throw in the middle. That fool started out with a hard, hardcore, hilarious domestic violence joke. Edgy, <laughs> homie, and, bro. People, I realized because he has like he's number one on Instagram on um, Netflix, but the joke is real fast. You know, he said that he went to a waffle waffle house, whatever, or I don't know what type of restaurant, and a and a cashier girl had a black had guy. A black guy. And then they go, you know, you would think that some somebody with a black guy, you would put him in the back in the kitchen. And the punchline was, if she would be in the kitchen, she wouldn't have a black guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, people are just decide for, are dissecting that joke. They think it's real. And calling him mouth chauvinist and this, that. And, and most of the videos are, like, there's a lady that has 68,000 likes <clears> on, her, <throat> on her video talking about Matt Rife. And she goes, well, I haven't really seen the whole special from what I've seen. But what I saw. From what I saw and what I hear is this and that. And then, so, but like, all these people out there, right, click on any one of these and they're all complaining. Click on her. If you're not Matt Rife, feel free to keep scrolling. Stop already. Oh, my God. Hey, Matt, give me that female audience that you hate so much. Come on. Next one, Philip. I'm sorry. Did you see Matt Rife's story? Next one. All right, bear with me here, but I think I have Matt Rife. Another one. Cancel. Y'all gotta hold this L. Because oh another one. The psychology of Matt Rife. Oh my god. All the people who are non-comics now, no comedy. Another one. Popping up with a little. Another one. Icon. Everybody, it's like seeing everybody's trying to make a career just talking about a special oh, yeah. they didn't see the whole special about. I didn't watch the whole special, yeah. but from what I hear. But okay, so I feel like these people I've never seen a comedy special it's before. Just like, they're, they're yeah. like, they're, what you expect. You know, it's comedy. They don't know what comedy special But I think works. this is one thing that happens, especially with content creating and doing what we do. There's always someone with an opinion, no matter <laughs> what. No right? matter what. And and like, I know you get that luck. You're like, especially like from traditional the, Salvadorian. That's not real Salvadorian yeah, food. No, no, for sure. And, yeah. and even That's when I got. do it in Chililagua. When I got my doing. Chililagua. <laughs> my dual citizenship, I posted a video like, oh, I got my. How you. How Sal out. No, he was like, oh, you're, you're still not a real Salvadorian. <laughs> what oh, the yeah. fuck, dude? Uh, this paper says I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a document here. Um, I, but I, I, I think... speak French in my video. I'm just like, <laughs> let me ask you this because you've been in comedy for a long time. A hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, bro. You're, you're the, what do you think of the evolution of uh, comedy in general from going from a stand up to now a we- reaching a wider audience? And what that means to like stand up, right? Because I think comedy is subjective. And when you're in a room, you can make those people laugh, right? But when your comedy reaches millions, yeah, it's a different vibe from uh, a live show to like, yeah, yeah. And I think comedy has evolved. I think in the last ten years, yeah. It's weird because watch when I was in Nashville, the comedian before me, his name was Henry Cho. How's it going, man? And he was a comedian in the '80s, bro. He's Korean, and but he's his whole um. His voice, he sounds like how? Let me talk to him. Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is uh, Henry Cho here. 
So basically, like almost like Alex Raymundo, kind of. Like, yeah, he uh, sounds like like a like he fucking like he should be man. a king of the hill. Like he has the king of the hill accent. Him. He's totally eight, um, China, um, Korean, bro, and his show is totally clean, like savagely clean, like super clean, right? And like and then like my show was nothing like that, bro. <laughs> nothing like that. And um, some of the audience mm. stood to watch my show, and and they were just and they watched both shows, and like you know they they enjoyed both shows like they didn't have a favorite, but uh, I just you just gotta like comedy, man. You gotta really love stand up yeah. comedy. Different genres for sure. Yeah, and I think and take a chance, watch everything, not just because I, I I I applaud that audience for staying to my watch my show, and just and buying being, an extra ticket, but being open oh, yeah. To, yeah. to listening to something. But I feel like comedy has uh, shifted people taking it serious. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, that, I mean, they're trying to cancel fucking oh Hassan Minaj, God. you know, for a joke. Like, <laughs> what? This, it's like, it's Hassan not Hassan real. Hassan Minaj, <laughs> yeah, it's Hassan not a, it, it wasn't a real story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, sometimes people even in the audience, like, we're at the Laugh Factory, we're doing Spanglish, and, like, I'm some fool in the audience. Um, I'm like, what's up, bro? What do you do for a living? And he's like, actually, we went to high school together. I was like, bitch, I know. I invited you. Fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> on, bro. Why are you asking people you know what questions, bro? They're not going to give you a chance. <laughs> you should take her to the back. <laughs> bro, I remember, man, oh um, there, God, there was this bro. guy uh, with glasses, and um, there, was a, there was a comedian that does crowd work his whole career, and that was talking to the guy with the glasses. He goes, what the fuck, dog? Where you, where you from, dog? <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, whatever, where he's from, right? He had thick ass glasses, right? And he told the, the audience member, Fuck, what's up, dog? Fucking glasses are fucking thick, dog. You could see the future. And that fool said, Yeah, and I could see you don't have one, homie. God. <laughs> Whoa. I can recover from that, huh? Bad burn, huh? <laughs> I think the sickest recovery I've seen, like this guy, he was like, I remember the first time I had sex, and this girl was like, Whoa. Yesterday. Everyone was like, Oh. <laughs> oh, so he let the crowd like. He told down. you that yesterday. Yeah. He goes, no, 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 no. It oh, wasn't. Shit. It was some other comedian. I saw oh, him. Shit. You gotta be ready, bro. No, that was like, I'm glad you remember. And everyone was like, Oh, oh that's a good one, bro. That's a good, that's good, a good quick, yeah. comeback to the comeback. Yeah, your sister was there. Remember? Come on the, <laughs> come on the back, homie. Happen. Sorry, bro. I remember this. Well, uh, <laughs> I got excited. We were on stage, <laughs> and Gabriel Iglesias was on stage at Monterey at the Planet Gemini, and like. They were not vibing him, bro. The cholos and this fucking cholo yelled loud, next. <laughs> <laughs> like he, first it was said, a soda, right? Next, then another mo more, <laughs> more noises. Then finally, next. <laughs> and Gabriel Iglesias said, "That's what your mom said." Next, <laughs> and he started doing noises like, 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 like a fucking dumb drunk. <laughs> next, like we're spanking them. <laughs> Hilarious. That one in a fight, bro. <laughs> what? He got mad. Hilarious. Like, the one time, the one and only time I ever did the J spot many, many years ago. I thought you said the only time we found the G spot, bro. <laughs> the J, the J spot. And I, I lost and, and, and I lost the coordinates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it was on Crenshaw. I don't know where. Uh, uh, oh, Manchester. Airport, Manchester. Yeah. And I remember, like, I think it was only doing five or seven minutes, and then the light came on. And you hear from the back. That's the light, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hey, <laughs> we dude, that was the worst. <laughs> we were at the Knights of Columbus, and there was a comedian bombing, and this black lady said, somebody help this young man. <laughs> <laughs> somebody rescue him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, man, it was bad, dude. What's up, fool? Thank you very much for announcing and Jose V to be being on a What's Up Fool podcast. What's your Instagram? People can find you. Who's a H O O Z A Y? Woo! Nelsito Echeveria and on TikTok, Nelsito El Gordito, mi gente. I'll see you guys this weekend, eh? Orale, carnal. Thank you, thank you. Good photo right here. Oh, shit. Stop your glasses. Con los tamales.